continues right now with a closer look at some of the damage reported throughout the state. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Dylan Fearon continues our coverage. He is in Burlington where uh, the cleanup continues behind you right there. Dylan, what's the latest? That's right, Mark, but the good news is we're told from some of the linemen here that they might be getting out of here in the next 15, 20, 30 minutes. Things are going well here. They have cleared all the damage to the side of this road. This is Smith Lane in Burlington. At around 4 o'clock, a tree had fallen. It hadn't completely fallen off of its roots, but it fell into the road in the air, though. So it, was, it completely blocked off the street. State police came. They closed off Smith Lane for about an hour and a half. It is technically open. You can still see a lot of the damage here and these utility workers have been here since 4 o'clock, but this road is technically open. Anyone that lives on Smith Lane is able to drive in and out. We did just talk to someone that does live down the road here. They said they lost power at 3.58 this afternoon. The call came into police at around 4.06, and they responded here accordingly. They're still working. We did see them put up two wires, uh, two gray, thin wires uh, in the last 15 to 20 minutes, but we're told they should be wrapping up soon. Hopefully power can come back on for these people, but they have been without power since 4 o'clock and we'll continue to update everybody on air online and on the Channel 3 app. But we'll send it over to Mark in the studio. All right, Dylan Fearon.